Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jenkins tutorial, let's quickly walk through the Jenkins interface and understand what all details you'll be required to understand within Jenkins interface. So quickly, as we know that uh, setup that we have done through the war file, there was a security code, initial admin password that we used to log into Jenkins. So first thing, let's go ahead and change the password. So go to the admin drop down here, go to configure and then here we will change the password, right? So change the password for the admin so that we do not have to use this security code every time that you log in, right? So let me change it and save. Now it will ask you to log into the Jenkins again and provide the password and we are back in the Jenkins, right? So on the dashboard. So now you do not have to use this security initial admin password. Okay. So quickly on the dashboard, you will see that you will get this welcome message where you can create a job or you could create a job from here or create from we'll both open the same window. If you go to the dashboard back, create job and fill in the same window, create the job. So what exactly is job in Jenkins? So job is nothing but any sort of a process basically or any activity usually that performs say for example in the automation when we try to execute the test case right. So we fire a command on the command prompt. So we can do that or we can fire that command using Jenkins job. So we can create a job and in that job we can provide the multi steps that we usually do to say for example setting up the environment variable through the command prompt or firing the command or running the batch file or shell file any of these sort of activities we can create a job in Jenkins and perform those tasks just by the butt click within Jenkins okay so we will look all of that in detail do not worry about that this is about creation of the job right so you can create from here or from the new item in the people section you will see how many people are there in the who have the access to Jenkins so it's more of a access section here in the build history you will get all the build that have been triggered out of Jenkins so when you create a new item when you create a project or job in Jenkins and run that job when that job is successful or failed then that history is recorded into the build history of Jenkins. So how many times the build has been run, whether the build passed or failed. So in the test automation perspective, when creating a job, that job will be basically pulling the code from the GitHub repository and then executing the test cases depending on where you want to execute. So we'll do a lot of parameterization and stuff. So it's a good learning, I would say. It's very interesting to add in your code. So please watch all of the tutorials that I'm posting in this series and it will be really helpful and with your journey of automation and your career growth. So in the build history, you will see that all of that information will be uh, basically all the build history information, whether the build has passed or failed will be here. When we go to manage Jenkins, this is most important section basically. I mean, all of them are important, but managing Jenkins, we will see how you can configure, how you can manage plugins. So if you want to install or remove the plugins, you can go to the manage plugin. You can configure, uh, go to global tool configuration to do the configuration, system configuration, basically configure system. And then there are a lot of security. So under security, you can manage credentials and other user details, uh, status information, you can see the logs, etc. here. So manage Jenkins will contain all of that detail where you can configure Jenkins and other. Okay, going back, uh, my views. So my views is basically more of a personalization. So you can personalize what exactly you want to see within the Jenkins when you log in. So not too much of information there. I mean, not too much of focus there uh, as, as a test engineer. Um, you can explore that later. Key thing is creating the job, build history and then managing Jenkins, right? And then you will see the build queue section will will show you the builds that are there running basically uh, that, that are there in the queue and then build executor status will show you the run status of the build. So whether the build has been passed or failed etc. Okay. So this is a brief about this particular Jenkins dashboard and then you know you have this setup distributed build section as well which you can configure uh, the cloud or the agent. So all of this will be covering in the advanced section but in the basic section of the Jenkins I'll be covering the creation of the job running the fetching the code from the github repository and then running your automated test execution uh, just by the click of Jenkins job. So that's all for this tutorial on the introduction of the Jenkins dashboard. I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.